Welcome to the Military X-Force channel. Before we begin, please give us a like, as it will help our channel defeat the algorithm. In this video, we will discuss the future of warfare, where the line between man and machine is blurred. We'll explore the concept of cyborg soldiers, the cutting edge technology that's making it possible, and the ethical questions it raises. First, what are cyborg soldiers? Not quite to the extent of the T-1000 in the movie Terminator, a cyborg soldier is a human being enhanced with technology to improve their physical and cognitive abilities. These enhancements can range from bionic limbs and exoskeletons to brain implants and neural stimulation. What is the technology behind cyborg soldiers? The field of bioengineering is advancing rapidly, making it possible to create superhuman soldiers. For example, researchers are developing bionic limbs that can be controlled by the brain allowing amputees to regain mobility. Exoskeletons can enhance strength and endurance, allowing soldiers to carry heavy loads over long distances, kind of like the one that turned Tom Cruise into a super soldier in the movie Edge of Tomorrow. They're also developing brain implants that can improve cognitive abilities, such as memory and decision-making. The US Army believes that a range of technologies could be available by 2050 that would effectively turn the average soldier into a cybernetically enhanced super soldier. A recent Department of Defense study predicted that enhanced vision, enhanced hearing, musculature control, and what amounts to telepathy would all become possible within 30 years, given the current pace of technological development. The report highlighted four specific technologies. First, ocular enhancements to imaging, sight, and situational awareness. Currently, U.S. soldiers use bulky, relatively heavy night vision goggles to see in the dark. One possibility is the development of contact lenses with the same capability, perhaps even with a digital zoom that uses augmented reality to project critical data, enemy and friendly positions, routes, etc., onto the wearer's field of view. Second, restoration and programmed muscular control through an optogenetic bodysuit. A restorative suit could regenerate tired muscles, refreshing physically tired soldiers faster. If you think about it, this technology is already here in the form of a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. This increases the amount of oxygen your body can carry, helping a person in the chamber heal faster. Third, auditory enhancement for communication and protection. Hearing is critical on the battlefield, and currently soldiers wear noise-canceling ear protection to screen out the din of weapons. The ear protection is relatively bulky though, and a much smaller, compact headset would be very useful. And finally, fourth, direct neural enhancement of the human brain for two-way data transfer. This is the big one. Telepathy between human soldiers would be revolutionary, as the paper writes, allowing soldiers to instantly share information across the battlefield without the use of communication devices. Technological feasibility may not be the only issue that determines when and how soldiers receive such gear. Super sight, super muscles, super hearing, and telepathy could have profound implications on the broader society implications that could slow down or speed up the military's adoption. Telepathy, the holy grail of interpersonal communications for centuries, also will probably not come cheap, initially restricting its use to special operation forces. Some of the ethics behind implementing cyborg soldiers. The idea of creating superhuman soldiers raises many ethical questions. For example, should soldiers be forced to undergo these enhancements? What happens to them after their military service is over? And what about the potential for abuse of this technology by governments or rogue actors? Think along the lines of the Winter Soldier, after Bucky falls into the hands of Hydra. Another ethical issue is the potential for inequality and imbalance. As cyborg technologies become more advanced and widespread, there may be a growing divide between those who have access to these enhancements and those who do not. This could lead to imbalances in power and influence, both within the military and in society at large. There are also concerns about the impact of cyborg soldiers on the broader society. The introduction of augmented human beings into the general population could lead to changes in legal, security, and ethical frameworks. This raises questions about how society should respond to these changes and what measures should be taken to ensure that the rights and dignity of all individuals are respected. There are many valid arguments against creating cyborg soldiers. As technology continues to advance, it will be important for society to engage in discussions about the potential benefits and risks of these enhancements. 
and to develop ethical frameworks that can guide their use. However, there are many countries that may be ahead of America in this technology. The future of warfare is changing rapidly, and cyborg soldiers are just one part of that. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible with technology, it's important to consider the ethical implications of our actions. What do you think about cyborg soldiers? Is Skynet close behind this development? Leave us a comment on your thoughts, and thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.